Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the DCM Atom number 2496 swinging decal. Well, this swinging decal is uh, what is going to be, uh, you know, pretty much considered mandatory to have on a swinging door uh, when it comes to giving you the outline and the guidelines of what it takes for proper, safe operation of that swinging door. And this decal is just one of a part of a suite of uh, not only decals and signage that are required by code uh, for an automatic door swinging or sliding. Um, but interestingly enough, inspections on automatic doors, of which I understood a couple, three years ago, uh, the year's 2020 now, um, there were 50 billion cycles of automatic doors um, on the globe on an annual basis. It's code in the United States that those automatic doors be inspected annually. So how many hundreds of millions of automatic doors must there be in the United States um, that cycle automatically um, on a daily basis countless times? Um, and this is a safety checklist. This is for your personnel um, and it is in it is written that an automatic door is to be um, reviewed on a daily basis. I won't read all of this to you, but the top paragraph, these minimum safety, safety checks, in addition to those in the owner's manual, should be made each day and after any loss of electrical power. So there's an image, there's a photograph down below of this where you can read and study that. But this would be the daily checklist. You know, you want to make sure that your doors operate correctly, etc. Um, and decals and signage, especially signage, it's in code. And code is the governing um, document that is in force in your location, your jurisdiction, your municipality, your county, whatever, your um, parish, whatever it might be, uh, will have code. Now, the governing document that code refers to would be the ANSI um series of documents and when it comes to automatic doors if you wanted to look up and see what code would be for automatic or what the standards would be for automatic doors you would be looking for the A156.10 uh, standard and the dot 10 standard is the standard for power operated doors uh, pedestrian doors the dot uh, 19 standard would be the one for low energy doors. So if you wanted to see what all of the requirements were by the industry standard, you'd be looking for an ANSI, ANSI, A156.10. I think the current version now is 2017. I don't, I don't recall. I've got it printed back here. I haven't read it yet, uh, but I will be when that pile of work is gone. Um, and it will give you all of the governing information would be quite enlightening. And the reason that automatic doors are govern governed so stringently um, is because if you were to just do an internet search for automatic door lawsuit, it's frightening how many occur on an annual basis because automatic doors have the possibility, the potential, I suppose, for harming people. And while I don't have all the knowledge, one such case I heard was grandpa was walking into the local neighborhood big box store um, uh, and uh, was was uh, assisted with a walker well he saw a penny and he reached down to pick it up he fell the sensors in the door were not working correctly or were not uh, installed at all so the doors just kept doing this action um, on grandpa so that's why you need to be mindful of what you're doing this safety check is there to uh, make no excuse as to what needs to be done on a door on a daily basis. Now, um, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the DCM products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the DCM, Adam, and Adam, A-A-A-D-M is the, um, it says it on here, the automatic, the, um, American Association of Automatic Door Manufacturers, of which I am Adam certified. And that means I've studied the materials, I've attended the class, I've taken the test, I've found to be proficient. Now, uh, the annual inspections 
don't have to be conducted by someone who's Atom certified. That's not in code um, at all. But there's a very clear guide and set of steps and what needs to be done during that annual inspection that does need to be followed. It might be best if you had somebody inspecting your doors who were certified that they've studied the materials, attended the class, taken the test, found to be proficient, etc. Any questions on the 2496 or any other DCM product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.